Hey, what's up? How you guys doing today? Hope you're well watching this video. It's a nice windy morning. I brought my wind blocker this time, so hopefully it shouldn't have any issues, right? Here's Taipei 101. And I'm just showing you that as a reference point. Because <laughs> uh, where I'm going to right now is uh, there's a noodle shop that I want to eat again. That's local, but I can't remember exactly where it's at. So since I'm up again this fucking early, I'm gonna go look for it. It's just to uh, give me something to do and also give me an, a chance to like talk in the camera. So again, because of jet lag, I woke up at two in the morning. Took another screenshot. It's a uh, it's a Tuesday for me, and yeah, fucking jet lag sucks ass. These are basically rent the bikes, but yeah, you can find these everywhere now. They have bikes here you can rent. It's pretty cool. Uh, yesterday Monday was a total shit show. I mean, it wasn't bad, but. It was raining a lot, so we couldn't do much. That's one. But also, uh, we had to get like two videos done and get ready for that. And then like, I don't know, I feel like yesterday with the jet lag hit pretty bad. And uh, I totally skipped on the day for me to post my video. So I want to play catch up. So today, I've got, right now, I'm going to uh, do a day two recap. And then most likely later in the, the end of the day, I'm going to finish my third day, which is today. But uh, yeah, I'm going to follow up uh, day two or day three pretty quickly. So just to catch up with my personal schedule. Day two, overall what happened was that uh, me and Paul, we had to like film two videos. It was the AMD uh, keynote presentation. Paul was given the notes ahead of time about the new products that AMD was uh, launching. So he was able to make a video ahead of time, right? And that's what we did. So I spent like three hours to make that or so. Then Paul had to wait for like the NVIDIA keynote presentation, which was like a two hour long video. He had to stay up and watch that. I fell asleep when he was, uh, Watching that video, then he woke me up. He did a screen cap and he gave me notes of what to uh, what to edit in. I stayed up to almost like one or two till we finished that video. We went back to sleep, woke up early, probably like four. And then like we had like uh, to leave to meet up with ASUS. ASUS is one of the sponsors this for PA this year. So he had an appointment to meet up with them. So that was like uh, kind of like a secret press event that uh, we had to do. You know, some new products they were talking about. I had to sign like a non-disclosure agreement. Yeah, they had like new cases and this and that. It was pretty neat. So yeah, it's pretty cool. We got in an office and we had to see some like behind the scenes kind of shit. Let me see, trying to find this fucking restaurant. I think it's over here. I think it was like Noodle Love or something like that. It's a lot of cool little mini restaurants here. I like how everything here is like so jam-packed together, right? So you got Noodles here, noodles there, and then at random you have like a mechanic shop or something like that. Oh yeah, this is the one. It's called uh, the Feng Noodles. So I can see a guy in there working already. They're making like handmade noodles and dumplings and stuff like that. All right, the Feng Beef Noodles. I had a screenshot of the in, of the Yelp. That's how we found them. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to do that. Share some information of like the cool spots to eat. So like I said, it was pretty cool. I went to like the ASUS like uh, meetup and everything was like all. Yeah, hush hush, no cameras allowed. But then we had like a behind the scenes like view of some of the new products that they were thinking of creating. They're making like new chassis for like a PC, for PC cases, right? Uh, yeah, they do have some interesting concepts. Since ASUS has that um, a GPU that doesn't need to have like the cable, has the extra little like power PCIe connector thing. They want to create more cases that kind of fit that design, right? So that was pretty much what the show does. <laughs> another 7-Eleven. I'm telling you, man, the 7-Elevens are convenient here. There's another thing, Family Mart. Those come, those are coming in handy as well. I'm enjoying walking like the little neighborhood here. You just gotta stay in the green. That's like the pedestrian sidewalk. As you can see the little signs here. Stay in that. Anyways, we barely made it on time. They had like a little presentation. They were talking more about peripherals, keyboards and mouses and headphones and shit like that. It was short, it was like a 20 minute presentation. So we didn't like see too much. But then from there, like uh, they separate the people into groups. They give you like a lanyard, group A, group C or whatever. And then like, you know, they're like letting people into like the display room area. Uh, they're letting in people by group. So we had to wait outside for a bit and then like, uh, yeah, we walked in and then like they gave us like a quick mini tour of what they got. Yeah, new products for AI, you know, new laptops, stuff like that. One of the coolest things they had was that uh, they wanted to create like, a laptop, a little screen that they put on the exterior of your laptop. And basically, you know, instead of like adding stickers, you can add digital stickers. So you're able to like uh, do any animations or you do custom stuff if you want. You'll take pictures of yourself and then like you can put it on like that little screen and you can animate it on top of your... Uh, of your uh, laptop when it's closed type of deal. So that was pretty neat. 
I didn't film too much. I mean, I'll try to share as much as I can about the ROG area. All the footage I'm showing you from uh, Asus, that's from yesterday. I didn't film much because we're, we're gonna go back today, right? We have another meeting actually, and uh, this JJ is gonna talk with us about some of the cool stuff that they have. So that's gonna be probably like a 40 minute video right there. <laughs> Shit, cause JJ likes to uh, explain everything in detail cause he knows everything. You know, about his products. Also another cool thing that we wanted to go to this uh, event is Asus is gonna let us borrow a uh, gaming chair and also a monitor. It's very, very appreciative. So I'm glad Paul was able to do that. And also I'm glad that uh, the rest from Asus were able to hook it up in that sense. They were also like nice enough to hook it up with a, uh, a Uber, right? So they just, you know, called it for us and we were to take it home. We we're thinking about like possibly, you know, rolling that damn chair and that monitor the train station but yeah that would have been a mission let's see here there was a so there's a little falafel place here i'm gonna try to get a, a little picture of it oh yeah uh falafel king uh this place is pretty good actually uh it's owned by some like um a middle eastern person you know he lives here and he you know speaks uh, mandarin and all good stuff uh yeah it's pretty cool yeah um again i'll post like a yelp screenshot here you can find it uh, this place is really good actually i like it uh, yeah, we, we went on something different because we've been eating like noodles and crap like that. So this guy was healthy because it was just all vegetarian. You, know, you get the hummus and like some the Greek yogurt and all the good stuff. So whatever, it's really good. It's another good spot here to eat at. So yeah, after the whole Easter thing, we uh, came back to the room, started to get set up. I wanted to like stay and work on this video, the day two. Well, Paul was gonna head over to Fantex. So I was like, all right, I could just walk over there and help him out. So we walked over to Fantex. Yeah, Paul could have been there by himself, I guess. <laughs> All the situations, but uh, yeah, whatever. I uh, was able to get out of the house and uh, at all the reps I've met here in uh, during these types of events, usually the guys from Fantex are like the most chill, uh, from my experience, you know? Just like, you know, they're usually together along with and bullshit, you know, just chat. Uh, most reps, you know, they're just doing their job in the sense of like, uh, they just talked about the product and, you know, they talk about whatever product they have and then they just leave it as that. But the guys at Fantex are always, always chilling. It's like, how you doing? What you been up to? They kind of talk about some personal crap or whatever. So, yeah, the guys there are usually chilling. I do enjoy, like, uh, meeting up with them. So, uh, I, I, did, I was glad to go. I do try to make it a point to, like, meet up with people here, you know, uh, as much as I can. So, after that, we came back to our room and I started editing, you know, whatever uh, Paul filmed in uh, Fantex. And then they hit me, the fucking jet lag. Yeah, I went to sleep around 7 o'clock or so. so. I was trying to, like, get more work done. And also when I was trying to, like, stay up more a little later, right? Not to go to bed so early, but I just couldn't do it. So, yeah, I went to, went to bed at 7. And I'm just like, uh, I'm done. Right, I think I'll end the video with this. This is the Hyatt Hotel. And uh, actually, this place is really fancy. This is where Fantig was at. And I'll show some footage of what I got. It's very nice. So, yeah, it's a really nice little... Uh, uh, hotel here. So this is where like uh, Fantix and a bunch of other like uh, companies have uh, suites at. Paul is considering possibly next year to get a spot here, but you know, he wants to try out the Airbnb first, which uh, you know, so far we're liking it. I like the Airbnb. If you book like way ahead of time, you know, you're able to get like a good deal on a Grand Hyatt. The benefit of having a place stay here at, uh, at a Hyatt is that you know, you can rent a suite something that's more designed for business work, right? So they, there's a chance they have like office chairs, a, a bigger uh, work area. Also like Wi-Fi is a big major component. That's something that you need in big time is Wi-Fi. So far like the Wi-Fi we have in our Airbnb is pretty good. And yeah, he's, uh, I'm gonna end the video here. There's nothing else I can really talk to you about. I'm gonna head back and start editing this video. This is my day two catch up. <laughs> day three is today, so I'll edit that and upload it later today. So if you're watching this, you have a second video to watch for the day. And right, guys, I uh, got nothing else to say. Thanks so much. Uh, I'll do my best to uh, continue a, my personal upload schedule here. I'm having a lot of fun. Thanks to all the Cicada viewers, which I refer to as as that just stopped by <laughs> and watch my content around this time. <laughs> Which is fine. I mean, uh, that's what it's for, to enjoy, right? And like, uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys stopped by and uh, you enjoy the behind the scenes stuff and the stuff that I see. Some people were saying that like, it's refreshing, I guess, you know, they get tired of watching nothing but tech. So, see more behind the scenes of what's going on. Yeah, I guess it's, uh, it's a refresher. All right, guys, thanks so much again. I'll talk to you later. Peace.